Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to watch Kelsey Laka and myself talk about how Ignite the Wealth can help a small business. So we are so excited. I think you've been seeing our post that we launched Ignite the Wealth back in December. So we're a mother-daughter duo. Uh, we've combined our uh, years of working, me a little bit longer than Kelsey, and so what we've decided to do is one of the ways that Ignite the Wealth works is we have one of our pillars is to uh, have growth through social media marketing, specifically strategies that are designed to help your business grow. So on these series of workshops that we're going to be presenting, um, Kelsey and I are going to go over just a few topics each week uh, as we deliver it. We hope to like keep up with this every week because social media is always changing. And if you're a small business, you know that. And if you're just a solo entrepreneur, you know that it takes time. And sometimes, you know, there's just not enough hours in the day just to handle social media. So we're going to take it in bite-sized pieces. So Kelsey, what do you have to add before we start with the workshop? I think the goal of this is to help um, small business owners just be able to utilize social media to the best of their ability to ultimately grow their business. Um, you and I are both entrepreneurs, and I think that's just um, through, yes, years of experience we have combined our real your real estate side and um, consulting side into my social media side and marketing side and really just um, hone those in to help small business owners. And uh, so we're excited to start the series because uh, we know that it takes a lot of work to grow that social media. And sometimes that information is not always there that you need to find. So we're here to deliver that in an easy way to help others. And Kelsey has created a little um, gift for you at the end. So stick stick with us. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to add this. So those of you who um, know me, I'm sometimes a little tech challenge. So I just got to find the right button to push. Here we go. Okay, so our social media workshop series starts. And we're going to talk today about content calendars. And Kelsey, as I go through this, you know, because you're more the a guru of this than I am, uh, plug in. So what we tried to do was high level, give you some information and to kind of um, guide you on how to use a content calendar. And why they're so important to. Exactly. So now most content calendars are just, you know, templates. I mean, you can Google them. You can, you know, it's a template that a template schedule that allows you to plan and organize your content in advance. So you can plan like, okay, I'm going to do this for the month of March. I'm going to do this for the month of April and so on. And you can track your progress of your content creation. You know, you can identify gaps and measure your performance against your specific goals. So that's basically what the content calendar template is for. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, also, and this kind of goes into your benefits slide, but it really helps you. One of the key things to social media is being consistent. And so that help. I mean, the first bullet point right here is supports a consistent stream of social media posts. So that also helps you organize yourself. Yes. And then Kelsey, why don't you go ahead and speak to the benefits because you're the one that's actually, you know, has manifested that. Yes, definitely. So, um, a lot of content calendars, especially the ones that, um, yes, there's a ton of free ones out there, um, but there's also ones that you can just grab, I mean, create your own and, or also to just grab one from like us that we have created one for you guys. Um, but ultimately the big benefits is um, this helps you ultimately, if you just spend one day of the month saying, this is what I'm going to do, bam, bam, bam. The next day is knocking that out. That's two days that you just have to spend on social media and the rest is planned out for you. Um, for the whole rest of the month, you can focus on the other things of your business. Um, it allows you to, okay, instead of spending, you know, an hour a day on a reel or a carousel or a Facebook post, whatever it is, you're now allowed to be more proactive in your day-to-day -day business. Um, so again, it just helps, um, like Bolt say, reduce risk of mistakes. The consistency saves time across the board. Um, it really just, it's 
it almost produces quality over quantity um, just by getting everything lined up of what you want to do for the month. Exactly. And then if you're like me and you do a lot of speaking or I teach classes now for real estate agents, it allows me to plan for those relevant social moments, if you will. Um, or if we have a launch on a particular um, service that we're doing. So it just really helps you get organized and stay, stay consistent. Now, let's talk about creating the content calendar. Um, you know, what goes into it? What are the considerations? And what will your content calendar say? Um, and so remember, yours is going to be different. So one thing that we want to kind of emphasize is that Ignite the Wealth is about having unique proposition values for each of our clients because each business has its own unique um, features to it. So you may not be a TikToker. Um, you know, I'm not a big dance on the scene kind of thing. So you might have a different approach and you need to customize your content for your social media um, calendar for your audience. Okay, so I want you to keep that in the back of your mind. So Kelsey, talk about defining the goals. So yeah, obviously at then I mean at the beginning of each social media planning session, you should always ask yourself, what is my goal of having social media? Is it to build brand awareness, grow your audience, improve brand recognition, establish a strong online presence? Are you just trying to you know, you give a lot of presentations and you're just trying to put an ultimately um, content to a name. So when people look up your name, then you are relevant. Um, or are you actually trying to draw people to your product? Are you trying to draw people to um, your classes, whatever you're offering? So ultimately, um, your first step in any social media planning uh, should be to define your goals and what are your goals of having a social media online presence. And we've talked about this, Kelsey, like when you meet someone and you, you're thinking about doing business, what's the first thing that you do? Now, me, I'm, I might go to Google, but you were telling me where you go. Yeah. So um, what I have found interesting, uh, you know, as I talk to different people and different clients um, and, you know, my generation versus other generations, but we tend, so my uh, generation tends to go to Instagram to look someone up. If I want to go, if I'm watching a movie and I want to see an actor, I don't go to Google. I go to Instagram and I look them up. Um, same thing with a business. I don't go to Google. I go to Instagram and look them up. Um, so yeah, again, it's, it's interesting how our generations are changing. And it's funny because I asked my friends, am I the only one that's doing that? And they're like, no, I do it too. Um, and so it's interesting the way that we're going towards. And obviously the internet is at our hands, but um, yeah, social media is even, even bigger than just Google. And, and just on a, another way that I use it is so um, in my short-term rental business, when I have guests that I'm not quite sure there, you know, I go to the social media, maybe Facebook or Instagram, mm -hmm. like you said, um, because that just gives me more information about who's getting ready to rent my property. So, you know, so there's all different ways in a business that it's not just you know, getting your name out there, but it's also gathering information. So yeah, those are some credibility, really credibility. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk about choosing your channel. So both of us are going to talk about this because for me, I have a few years under my belt. And so, you know, I'm not, um, you know, up on, I don't even think I ever did. Was there like Snapchat or something like that? I never even had that account. So, you know, I've, uh, uh, I have a lot of, um, interaction on LinkedIn, on Facebook, you know, Instagram, you know, I have to say my social media manager, Kelsey Lega handles that. So, and she's actually grown that quite a bit. Um, because for me, I'm like, okay, I don't get it, you know, and that's okay because my audience, sometimes I'm working sometimes a lot with distressed sellers. They're not necessarily, uh, on LinkedIn. <laughs> Maybe they are, um, or maybe they're on Facebook. So there's just different places that they could be. And then, so you have to figure out where your audience is. So why don't you talk a little bit about choosing the channels? Yeah. So I think, um, obviously LinkedIn is definitely more like if you have, um, a business that offers services, um, to a degree, like it's, uh, you know, if you have a production company or, or, well, maybe not even production company, but a media company, um, if you have like yourself, like real estate investing, um, things like that. Whereas, 
yeah, Instagram and TikTok might be for e-commerce and using more of that fast paced environment to really shoot your product out. And this is what I have. And this is, you know, the latest thing and this is the latest deal. Um, so yeah, it just really depends on the business that you own and what you're trying to put out there in the world. And if you're trying to you know, if you just want, again, if it's name and brand, then okay, across all platforms is a good idea to have and just not constantly in your face. But I think really defining and, you know, also to who's your audience? Is it younger generations? Is it older generations? Well, typically older generations will be on Facebook and LinkedIn, whereas younger generations are on TikTok and Instagram and Snapchat and all the, you know, X and Twitter and all that stuff. And <laughs> so you just and the thing is, is that you might, so I'm in that older, you know, probably, you'd probably just look at me and go, oh, you know, Facebook. But um, when we looked at my analytics on Instagram, my um, target audience is actually between 25 and 34. So that's the highest group of engagement. So you just never know. And, and actually, mm -hmm. when you tune into our next um, we're going to talk about benchmarks and KPIs and how we even know know that information. And, so, and yeah, not just has... follower count and the big just aside, there's not just follower count is the growth of social media. There's millions of other little KPIs that are important. Exactly. So it's not like always the number. Um, in fact, I've looked at, OK, well, what if you buy, you know, like if you want to like, oh, I want to have 13,000 followers or whatever, um, because to make money on social media, you don't need a huge amount of followers. You need engaged followers, right? Yep. You need yep. people. So you need to target your audience. So, um, exactly. and so we'll be talking more about that as we, as the weeks go on. So choosing your content. So this is where the content planner that Kelsey's going to talk to you about at the end here um, can help you. So you need to follow kind of the 80, 20 rule of social media. Okay. 80% should be giving value. 20% you should be pitching, right? Because if you're constantly selling, 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 you know, you're just going to tune people out. So I think when people are attracted to what I have to say, what Kelsey has to say is because we give a lot of information, we give a lot of tips, we give tools, um, you know, and it's informative. Um, and you have to kind of make it entertaining. I mean, there's a fine balance between, you know, giving the, the information and, you know, uh, it's a constant um, struggle, I guess, with the algorithm from where I'm sitting. Um, but you have to bring value. So when we talked earlier about looking people up, so you're looking for, well, you know, the credibility, as Kelsey said, but also what kind of value do they bring to the table? Uh, what are they about? What are they promoting? And what kind of format? Because, you know, if you're a one man show, one woman show, it's hard to do everything. So, you know, there's blogging, you know, that's another form of social media um, email. You know, there's not enough, enough said about email. We're going to do a series on email marketing as well down the road. And then video is very big. People can connect. Uh, there's a story brand telling. So, you know, you have to kind of not only choose your content, but choose your voice. And I say you have to be authentic. You have to be yeah. true to who you are. Yep. I agree with all that. Yeah. So, so you got to choose your content. So you have to kind of think about that. So now, so we want to thank you for watching. Um, and we're going to invite you to become part of our community where we will be adding more workshops. So you can follow along on YouTube at Nancy Wallace Labs, and you can join our community Ignite the Wealth. Now, if you want some more one on one assistance with, you know, helping customize your own social media strategy, you know, give us a text or a call at the number below there. Um, Kelsey, what do you want to add? You know, social media is just ever changing. And um, I think our biggest thing is we just um, want to be an extended arm to small businesses because I think just as entrepreneurs in general, like, um, I have a lot of respect for people that decide to branch on, out on their own, but ultimately social media is a beast. And so if you don't have um, that help or the planning or the organizing, then um, honestly, so your social media is just not going to go anywhere and you only want it to go upwards. So um, it's so important to plan out uh, you can, uh, what you want to put out there in the world um, because ultimately it's there forever. Um, so what do you want? with your name and, you know, how much time are you willing to dedicate um, and how much, you know, organization, because ultimately um, just going on, you know, Tuesday morning at, you know, 1030 in the morning, just doing a reel, is that really going to get you as much as something that you thought and planned out and 
um, according to Instagram's algorithm. So um, it's so important to keep organized if you want your social media to go upwards. So um, we do have a, I came up with a, we're not calling it a content calendar, but we're calling it a content planner for the year. So um, if you uh, just send a, uh, send an email, correct? Yeah, um, we'll have a link below in the description yep. of the video. So yes, but ultimately what we have done is created um, a social media content planner for the rest of 2024. So um, as soon as you uh, leave your email in the link, you'll get a calendar that's planned out um, April to December. And ultimately this has prompts and ideas that you can tailor to your own business. They're not specific, but they are a good track of um, keeping your audience engaged, sharing what your business is, who you are, um, memor you know, shareable things. So really it's just a, uh, organized content, um, already put out there on the days that it's going to be a hit and, um, all the business or all of the holidays that a small business should care about is already lined up on there. So again, um, already created for you. All you have to do is put your email in the link below and, um, you'll get a, content content or social media content planner for April to December of 2024 all planned out for you and all you have to do is just kind of tailor those prompts to your business so already done for you <laughs> already done for you it's just yeah. a great little organization tool because it takes a hot minute to um, put that all together so this is like to help you brainstorm and whatnot yeah. so we'll keep tuning in uh, we're glad that you joined us and um, we look forward to, you know, leave a comment for us, reach out, give us a like. Anything and hey, that you want some research on or topics that want to be discussed, please let us know. Yeah, that's a great idea. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cha-ching. It helps us gals out. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.